Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking this week at ground stroke consistency, improving your guys' ability around the baseline to make a ton of balls. And we're looking today at kind of finding the right recipe with these four different ingredients that we have to have you guys hitting very consistently around the baseline. So what we're looking to pair together, we've got targets, okay? We've got aggressive targets and we have what I would say are conservative targets. We also have aggressive swings and we have passive or conservative swings. All right, let's look firstly at aggressive and conservative targets. All right, so on this half of the court, if I was looking at where to land my shots and I wanted to think aggressively, I think you guys would agree that the deeper and wider I send the ball, the more aggressive I'm playing. All right, so something like this, I would consider to be a very aggressive target for my landing zone for my ground strokes. Something farther inside the singles court and a little farther inside the baseline without venturing into this zone where I'm just pushing the ball it, you know, up around the service line. This to me is a more conservative target, somewhere where I can aim, where I've got a lot of confidence that even if I miss that spot, I'm still landing the ball somewhere in the singles court, where if I miss that spot, that aggressive target, there's a very good chance I've now missed long or wide. All right, what do I combine with these? Do I combine passive swings or do I combine aggressive swings? What we're gonna first look at, I, there's basically four combinations here. The first combination we're gonna look at is a conservative target with a conservative swing. All right, gonna not do a lot of damage with that, so I don't like that at all. Let's look at an aggressive swing with an aggressive target. All right, really tried to fire away deep into the corner, hit it super hard. That's not a great combination, combination either, you guys. All right, so now let's look at a conservative target with an aggressive swing. Let's look at that one more time. All right, so that feels like a really good combo. That feels like a way that I can make a ton of balls and yet still have you know, a really good feel for my game. All right, the fourth combination would be an aggressive target with a more conservative swing. All right, and that one, you know, I'd think somewhere maybe if I was looking at a passing shot, my opponent's up around the net, uh, possibly my opponent's really far off the court and I've got a wide open side to hit to, I might use that conservative swing with a little more of an aggressive target in those situations. But the first two, I think we, we just throw those out. That's like a burnt batch of cookies. We don't want to be hitting, you know, conservatively to conservative targets unless pushing is right up your alley. We don't want to be finding ourselves hitting really aggressively to aggressive targets. That's a great way to make unforced errors and find ourselves very inconsistent around the baseline. I think the number one option for us, this, this really good recipe to have consistency around the baseline is swing aggressively to conservative targets a majority of the time and every once in a while pepper in maybe a little more of a conservative swing to an aggressive target. All right, so I hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video and if you guys happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks and we'll see you soon.